Hi, my name's Katie and I'm a receptionist here at Grady Veterinary Hospital and today I'm just going to talk about a few summer emergencies. Um, when it's hot outside, you have to be careful with your dogs, how long you leave them out there because heat stroke is a very common issue that happens in the summer. Um, some things to look out for are going to be panting, uh, very red gums, uh, vomiting diarrhea if the dog seems dizzy or is walking kind of wobbly. Uh, you just want to monitor how long they're outside, shorten walks in the summer so they don't get overheated. Certain breeds that have the smushy faces like bulldogs or pugs or anything like that are going to be more prone to those because of their respiratory issues. So you just want to be careful. Don't take the dogs on their normal seven mile walks. Just do short ones or wait till the evening when the sun goes down and it's a little cooler. Um, a few other things that become more common in the summer are going to be uh, dogs being hit by cars because they're outside more. When it's nice out, people don't uh, necessarily monitor how long the dogs are outside as often and sometimes they can jump the fence or, or get out. So you just want to make sure you're checking on your pets, always have them on a leash in a secure area. Um, also, the same kind of thing, dog fights tend to happen more in the summer because there's more dogs outside. So you just want to make sure your dogs are always secure, uh, always have their leashes on and you're always watching them. And also, if you have an invisible fence, just keep in mind that the pets can't get out but other pets can still come in. Um, and attack your dog or cause a fight, so you just want to watch them really well. Um, but yeah, those are a few common summer emergencies.